Hi, it's me, Shocktopus. You know, the Raid Boss Amiibo guy. I know what you're thinking. Am I subscribed to this channel? I know what you're also thinking. Wow, that sure is a lot of toys for one grown man. Well, they're not all for me. You see, I'm going to be giving away three full sets of Banjo, Terry, and Violet Amiibo to you, the viewers. So if you want to learn how you can win them, stick around to the end of the video. But the Raid Boss Amiibo Season 3, that took me way too many takes, begins this has never been done in the history of training a raid boss, but I don't know what his name's going to be. We'll figure it out later. Banjo's looking a little polite right now. We're going to have to beat some confidence into him. It's funny because he's got like a menacing green glow and... Oh, I just SD'd. But he's the farthest thing from menacing right now. See? Wait, look at him tiptoeing around. I'm tiptoeing. Wait, that was worthy of leveling up? I decide when you level up. We're gonna teach him that fair is a good attack. We want to see lots of it. I remember seeing the Banjo trailer and seeing him have this attack for his fair, and I was like, oh, he's got the Mario thing, but it doesn't spike. I really wish it did. Why is he doing that? <laughs> he doesn't know how to run yet. Oh, oops. We're gonna teach him nares. So we're just gonna nair him to death. Just nair, fall down. Oh, okay. Baby's first kill. Can we teach him bird abuse? Teach him to be very mean to his friend. There you go. All right. So I'm talking about dude again. Oh, wait, no. Don't win. Don't win yet. Why do I feel like that's way stronger against me in quick play, but not as strong here? He's doing it. He's surpassing the master. I want to see some cool things he could do with the bomb. So we're going to poop out grenades at him. The novelty that Banjo's in this game still hasn't really worn off for me because I like that he was the huge E3 reveal like after they revealed another character and I'm gonna feel the same way when Crash Bandicoot is revealed at this year's E3. Listen, I died on the Geno Hill. I will gladly die a second death on the Crash Bandicoot Hill. See, he's using Kazooie a lot now. Alright, there's a grab. Nice. Back throw. Come on. Teach him some gimp tactics. Like that. I don't even know what to address him as such because he does not have a name yet. Or I guess they don't have names. Wait! I lost. I love how angry he is when he grabs. Ugh, so mad. Can you not even bury? Do they just mash that hard? I know more damage equals longer bury time, but I guess at low percentages, it's just non-existent. So I'm curious, who do you guys think is going to be the strongest out of the three new amiibo, or who's the best in terms of AI? I definitely think it's not Banjo. I mean, I'm giving him a lot of free kills here, but I just, I don't think he's going to be the smartest. I mean, look at him. Do you think... In that cute little head of his, he has a giant brain. What's his IQ? Maybe like 90 max? I firmly believe that Terry is going to be the unsung hero of this batch of amiibo. But then you have Byleth, who can grab you with their up B and just do crazy things. Whoa, getting a little close to those now. I need to remember that he's grown up a little bit. He's a teenager. He wants to rebel against dad. If I wanted to make the chaotic evil banjo, it would be just Wonder Wing and stronger side B. Maybe Byleth will be the chaotic evil. Oh, oh, he's catching me with the wings. I gave you two speed up support spirits. Use them. It's like that old episode of the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon where he loses his shoes so he can't run fast as if shoes were the key to his power. Somebody stop me from running. Let's change our color up. Let's be uh, Sonic the Hedgehog colors. I know these aren't Sonic the Hedgehog colors, but it just reminds me of it so much. I uh, Okay, so let's come clean here. I have not played through Banjo-Kazooie in its entirety. That will be a video series that... Stop tiptoeing! That will be a video series that will come at some point in the future. But it's basically, to me, Sonic... Tails and Knuckles all in one. I might have to call him Twinkle Toes or something. You're gonna have to think of some name <laughs> referencing feet in some way. I feel like Mr. Sakurai buying toys to look at the bottoms of their feet. Okay, okay, my man tossing me off the stage. Would have preferred a down throw, but that's fine. See, we never really got to see the speed boost until now because he's finally starting to actually hit the stick. He's starting to run. Like, I know I'm not a great banjo player, but I'm actually kind of having a lot of fun playing banjo right now. And it's reminding me that I should play him more. Yo, the mid-air grab. Oh, my God. How are we only level 31 and he's already kind of smacking me around? I just want to know if he's smart enough to get rid of the grenade in time or if he's just going to hold on to it and blow his fingers off and then play for the New York Giants. I'm a little surprised sometimes because, like, I'll land an attack 
but I'm not sure if it's me since we're both playing banjo, so I'm like, wait, no, that's him. But it was me, banjo. And somewhere in some alternate universe is me training a banjo amiibo that just uses side B, and it's the stupidest amiibo I've ever trained. It rivals King DDD. He's good with the cancels. Yo, chill. I've gone this entire time without using a single side B. I fear that if I use it once, it's going to just undo everything. I really hope we hit level 50 and he pulls off the sauciest string ever. Disrespects the hell out of me and then tiptoes away. That is my dream. Can I land? Oh wait, I have one stock left. I have one stock, he's gonna win. I was not paying attention, I was trash talking. Here's the thing, even if he stops tiptoeing, you can do things in high school and you can earn a nickname and that nickname will stick with you for the rest of your days. Regardless of what it is, it could make no sense. I let him feel good, I let him get that win, but that's it, no more. Uh, maybe just one more. I'm just, I'm fumbling to grab the grenades to throw them at him, which is a very accurate depiction of me like trying to play basketball. Oh, I told you not to use that. The forbidden technique. Don't do it. Anakin, you were supposed to take them down, not join them. You know, I'm gonna let that one Wonder Wing go because apparently it is built into the AI to recover with it, which is acceptable. You gotta save himself from a certain death. I refuse to use Wonder Wing even to recover. I'm like Todoroki when I won't use the fire side. Only ice. Look at him, he's just spinning like a Beyblade. Hitmontop over here. I'm getting crushed. In the end, I'm sacrificing myself and letting him win because I want him to be a better monster. Well, I guess I was just asking for that one. Banjo vs. Banjo on the Minecraft stage. This has Microsoft written all over it. No, literally, like this is a 100% Microsoft match. We just need Master Chief somewhere out there in space to complete it. If you look up at the clouds, you can almost see the outline of Halo. I teach him to use more eggs in the spirit of Easter. What if Banjo was the Easter Bunny all along? Then which Smash character would be Santa Claus? And the Tooth Fairy, and so on and so forth for all the, you know what? I don't know who's watching these videos. <laughs> Let's not go there. Wait, hang on, we, we can win this. We can, 126% is nothing. It is but a scratch. We call it a draw. I should have did way more down throws because like now it's just hard to get my paws on them. It's just, it's gotta be down throw something. Up smash, up tilt, I don't care what it is. At this point, I just wanna teach him to use those big meaty paws. What did you say, punk? Big meaty claws. It's gotta be really painful to be down thrown by Banjo. He throws you head first into the pavement. Like, that's a concussion. Come on, learn it. Um, that came out of nowhere. Here I am just trying to teach him how to down throw people into the pavement and he just throws a blind wonder wing at me. Come on, learn it. Come on, this. There we go, finally a grab. It wasn't a down throw, but better than nothing. You know, that's all I'm gonna do. For the rest of the levels, this is the latest arc. Try to get him to stop naring and start grabbing. And we're not going anywhere until you... Oh, I guess I'm going somewhere. Okay, there, there, that was an up throw, you saw it. That's an improvement. We hit every direction but the right one, or the down one, I guess. No, don't do that. I literally have not done a single Wonder Wing in 45 levels. What are you doing? Come on, just down throw me, you stupid bear. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We're getting there. We're, he's gonna do it. You know what? It's opposite day. Get up throw me. Do you how do? Yes! Yes! He did it! <laughs> he did it! Come on. Uh, he's getting good with the throws now. It took forever, but he's learning how to grab and throw. Come on, more. We ain't done here yet. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's two. Tiptoe is coming out of his rebellious adolescence. Like, he's finally starting to respect his elders. Ow. I'm curious to see how he's going to hold up against another amiibo. Because, like, he seems like he's pretty strong and pretty smart. And he's doing a lot of cool things. But we know, like... We know Snowball is probably way stronger. Oh, he confirmed with that. See, the funny thing about training a raid boss is attacks that aren't that strong, like Banjo's up air, just like killed me. 
just so casually I died because it's oh he's he's using the Wonder Wing again. I will commend that the two times that he has decided to use Wonder Wing, they were like point blank and they killed. Yo. Okay, now he's sniping me with the grenades. Snake who? I don't think I could have asked him to turn out better. Like, I was a little worried, because I was... You know, my... My, uh... Dare I say the word sus? No! But my banjo... Yeah, okay. I I know. We don't use that word anymore. My banjo skills are janky. Level 48. We're almost there. We're about to cross the finish line. And Tiptoe is looking good. Hang on. Maybe his name is Tip, and Kazooie's name is Toe? I mean, we have to hyphenate, right? Because Banjo-Kazooie is hyphenated, so we're gonna hyphenate Tiptoe. It makes sense. Look at the lore just coming together right before your eyes. Clapped by those wings. I don't really like the white fur alt for Banjo. I think it looks kind of weird. Like, it looks good on DK, but on Banjo, I not so much. I don't know what it is. I mean, if he's supposed to be a polar bear, like, I see it, but the belly showing just makes it look like not a polar bear. Oh, he's going for it. I think he's getting me to like a certain percentage, which is 279, by the way, and still a lot. All right, do me a favor. Just hit level 50 so we can be done with it and I can exact my revenge. It always feels like a long time waiting for that 50th level. Just staring, watching, waiting, commiserating. Oh. Absolutely drilled. Oh, I didn't even see. He uh, he hit level 50, which means let's end this as soon as possible. Come on. No! Really? Yeah, get dunked, I say, as he has two stocks left, and I have one and 200% on me. Why he has to put this much damage on me before he can kill me, I don't know. I don't know if he's trying to send a message, and that message is... It is time. All right, Tiptoe, you have rightfully earned the name, and now it's time to bring the smoke. All right, let's see what Tiptoe is really made of. I mean, it's mostly plastic. Now, you're a DLC character, which means you're supposed to bully Donkey Kong, so I expect to see some bullying. Okay, I, I, I feel unsafe. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yo, he's like canceling nares into grabs. Tiptoe's wild. You know, he's tiptoeing on my grave. That's what he's doing. Come on, A stock, one, one stock. There we go. Yo, he's really like in your face. Jeez. No, come on. No, 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 not Donkey Kong. Not Donkey Kong, stop it. Oh, bullying at its finest. This looks like a job for Mr. Video Games. I don't know what that job is exactly. Funeral director, the body laying in the casket. Come on, Mr. Bear. You and I are not much different. Ugh! God damn! Come on! Yes! I guess this is what happens when you get sold to Rare. They put you to work, or in this case, a lack of work for Banjo and Kazooie. Seriously, when are we getting a new Banjo game? I mean, I still have Banjo games to play, but they deserve better. All right, I'm fully expecting this to be a wash because Snowball is incredibly strong. Also fast, plus it's Donkey Kong, so I'm a little bit biased. Look, the Dash Dance Up Smash, the Snowball Special. You can actually order it at a restaurant. You say, give me the Snowball Special. And the waitress comes over and she like runs back and forth and then she smacks you in the face. Yeah, not looking so tough now, huh, Tiptoe? Not looking so tough now. See, look, just swatting him out of the air. Come on. Knock him down. Show him the pain that he has showed me. Ooh! That would have ended him. That's right, he's got him right where he wants him. Snowball, we were talking you up. Don't throw it. Ugh! Love to see it. The real test. You know why it's a real test? Because Pumpkin is the only amiibo that I have that does not have support spirits. No special ability boosts. That's what makes them a true raid boss. There's no gimmicks. Look, he gave you the stock. It's nothing. It's nothing. You think he's gonna roll over and die to the new guy? Here we go. Here, here comes the spike. Classic Ivysaur spike. Textbook. Pumpkin gonna end it. That's how the story goes. Uh, they don't expect spice. They never do. It's what we like to call a spicy finish. Now that the first raid boss of season three is fully trained, they'll be ready to face off against challengers on Thursday's stream. Thanks for watching. Oh wait, the giveaway. I'll be choosing three people to each win a Banjo-Terry Byleth bundle or a 
Banjerilith bundle for short. Yeah, you know, you're getting free toys if you win. One winner will be selected from the comment section here. First, subscribe. That goes without saying. Second, answer this question. You're allowed to take an existing video game franchise and turn it into a completely different genre. Examples would be turning Animal Crossing into an FPS or Halo into a puzzle game, etc. What kind of game are you making? The additional two bundles will be given away on Twitter and Instagram this coming week, so if you want additional chances to win, go follow me there and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Good luck, and thanks for watching.